I'm gonna start in the kitchen. So that's a coffee grinder. You would have seen that in a general store, country store, circa turn of the century, late 1800s. That's an inkwell advertising Carter's fountain pen fluid. Fun fact, that wasn't made to be that cool amethyst purple color, but uh, pre-1915, dating back to, I think, the early 1800s, glassmakers used to use uh, manganese in their formula, and when left in the sun too long, it turned that cool color. Uh, this is a cash register, dated 1912, came out of a saloon in Telluride. And I know that because underneath the drawer, there's a label that says who it was sold to and when. Pretty cool. Crazy how ornate things used to be, right? And well built, super mechanical. Some bottles. That's a candy store scale or a general store, any kind of mercantile would have had one of these. It's got a great look, early 20th century. <clears throat> Some crockery from a wholesale liquor dealer, also turn of the century. That's called reverse painted glass with foil lettering. It was a popular way to make signs in the early 20th century, 1910, round about. <clears throat> Here we got some early fans. Also, 1910, early 20th century. They got a great look. I love them. All right, let me get some water. It's more than I've talked in weeks. <clears throat> okay. So that's a cool kind of folk arty, handmade, you know, make it with what you've got, sign for a watermelon stand. I'd say 1920, 1915, something like that. It's a thermometer with that cool eyeball advertising for a uh, eyeglass dude. <clears throat> it's a Masonic certificate dated 1901, I believe. Uh, this guy, my future self, he's, uh, I, I think in the 1930s, he's got an MGM sticker on the back, so I think he was a prop. It's a trade sign. <clears throat> Would have been, obviously, hung outside of someone who distributed tobacco wholesale. Barber pole, porcelain enameled. Another trade sign, very literal. Or an optometrist, ophthalmologist, would have hung outside their shop, early 20th century. Same with that one, another trade sign, very literal. That's also porcelain enameled, double-sided. It's a cool piece. Early neon, you know, late 1930s. Pretty cool, it was obviously outside. It's got some what they call patina as they say. It's a cool architectural piece. Would have been on top of an old railroad signal. It's got a great look. Uh, that's an advertising clock, late 1800s for tobacco. This place was actually around in the 1950s and you used to get a free teacup reading with your meal in New York City. That's also reverse painted glass, kind of cool. This is a rad little, uh, well not little, it's kind of big. You know, what, are the, what would you call this, a uh, carousel? No, I'm drawing a blank. You know what I mean, but it's cool. It's handmade, motorized, it's got light bulbs. Hard to say, but maybe 1920s-ish. Here's another cool architectural piece. This one would have been top of a fence, maybe. Top of a house, even. It's a paper mache eagle. It's large. It's 
got a great look. Probably around 1930s or so, 1920s. It's another trade sign for a uh, sower person, someone who sows, he or she that soweth. It's a sign for an old medication, late 1800s probably. Same for a dentist. Cool barber pole. Also, they'd also call that a trade sign. I love that old letterpress cabinet. Or it could have been in a general store too, some kind of mercantile. That table is one of my oldest pieces. It's uh, called a tavern table and dates to likely the 1750s, which is crazy to me. This thing's also cool. It's an early fish tank. 1860s some bottles in it I dig bottles more bottles there's another cool letter press I haven't even showed you one yet but here's one with all the little accoutrements and supplies and lightning rod cool old factory cart yeah I dig that thing. Love that thing. All right, onward. Uh, some sort of little like cash register door, or it would have been because there's like little indentions in one of them. Here. Probably would have been, <clears throat> again, some kind of mercantile. Remember that. I don't know, some old ink bottles. Some hand-tinted photographs of lakes in Oregon. A flag. Another cool barber pole. Love this piece. That's an early one. 1880s, probably. A folk art trolley. Lamp. This box is cool. That also dates to the 1700s, probably like 1790s. Got a cool heart on it. My namesake. Cool little shelving unit. Kind of arts and crafts style. Mission even. More arts and crafts. I dig it. More barber stuff. Cool little, little hand carved thing there. This chair is really cool. It's called an open barley twist. Like early 20th century, maybe late 1800s or so. And some other stuff, old fraternal organization stuff. Some apothecary bottles. You can also see they have that purple hue to them. Little handmade thing with some seductive carvings. Call, them, call this folk art for sure. Some average layman made it in their garage. You know, I think it was meant to be a clock, but it never got finished. More fraternal stuff, all early 20th century. This piece is cool. This is hand painted for a road trip these guys took in the 1920s to a Shriners convention. We don't know where we're going, but we're on our way. Huh. True enough, Gene, Bill, Herman, and Al. Anyways, that's the living room. That's probably long enough.